two and almost one. Oh, good lord, we are back. Uh, all talks, <laughs> jack of all talks. I, I, I want to do a regular intro one time, but we've been in here cutting up for like the last 25 minutes, and no, nah, I'm all discombobulated. I'm not even thinking clear no more. Um, everybody's in black because we're having a death row reunion party later on. Um, I'm the only one that took the full memo and went got the chain, but okay, well, it's all good. I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'll be different. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> exactly. Now I'm not mine in. <laughs> See, that's why. There's a case Debo when it comes through here. But hey. Wait, are we still in black, white, and gold, though, in some aspect? Yeah, because the game came on today, so, you know, I got to rep all the way around. Oh, that's right. It will be on later this afternoon. Later on this evening. Yeah, by, th- by Thursday. I got a yellow pin. Does that count? <laughs> No, because we need to talk about you and your habit anyway. Go. That's go- That's going to be a topic of discussion. Hey, hey, I must say, when she sent me her list, the bitch was proud. I was like, yes. <laughs> and I'm going to buy all the gonna- pins. Let me get all the pins. We- we're going to have to wait to do introductions because Melissa's internet went out again. Um, uh, somebody get Beyonce on the phone. Um but yeah, no, we need to talk about your pins because last time we were supposed to do this, uh, somebody had had too many pins. And did. <laughs> I, but you right. know, I don't think it was the pins. Mm-hmm. I think it was the gummies. Uh, oh, you did pin and gummy. How many yes. gummies did you do? Uh, I don't know. One of every flavor that they had. Excuse me, ma'am. 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 Get, yeah. get close to the camera. You're not used to that. You're yeah. not supposed to do that. You're supposed. I to survived supposed though. To... Barely. Barely. That's okay. That Barely. doesn't matter. Just as long as you survive. I survived. Okay. I didn't go to jail. I got because you couldn't move. Pick up the offspring from his daddy's house. You couldn't go to jail because you couldn't move. That's all right though. <sighs> you can't go to jail. And I went to work on Monday morning. So, in all black people rules. I survived. You passed. You, passed. you did pass. Okay. But okay. I just flew home. Okay. You did. But you wasn't flying the plane. You make it seem like you had to. Do- I got through TSA. I got through TSA. I mean, TSA, the- TSA was hot. Gonna pat you down, call your mama. Oh, you don't have pre-check. No. Oh, okay, never mind. Because I got no, pre-check. I, I just walked straight up. Wheelchair, so I can, you know. About to say, oh well, there you go. They ain't gonna, they gonna, yeah. wheelchair, they not gonna mess with you. Yeah, no, I ain't messing you with no wheelchair. Uh, so yeah, we are back for episode, uh, seven, eight. Uh, as soon as Melissa gets back on because her router is gone, I guess we'll start over again, but actually, you know what, hold on, I'll stop recording so she can get back in and then we'll just, I'll just put this on Instagram and make fun of her again so we can start a fight. I'm I'm not doing no intros. We ain't doing no introductions. We just recording. I'm not doing this. This is Jack of All Talks. Everybody's here. <laughs> Melissa's in the nest working. Um for now. Ki- Ki- Kiana's somewhat sober. Sarita was on time, which means the world is ending tomorrow. It is. So so love so love your loved ones. Hope Get your life right with Take, Jesus. Exactly. Call the Lord. Tell him you didn't mean to say that this morning. Did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he know my heart. I, mean, I did. Oh, I'm going to tell faster for lying and telling him I didn't mean it. I meant to. This, this is episode truth. eight. Shame that I'm pretty much going to put this on everybody's calendar. We're going to try to figure out how to do this once a month, and I'm just going to cut it up for three weeks. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> works for me and in between I'm going to put up all the stuff that Melissa say about me online and we'll just go from that hey <laughs> if it makes us famous let's go because I'm on your hand clearly <laughs> she, <laughs> she be yeah, blood. if I send you some of the shit she said to me she be but I cannot go two days without her saying something about me she be man Internet bully. Uh, 
with the, I'll give you this fine with the exception of the Mr. Coffee comment because I was concerned because I really I was like you were gang banging on bacon at nine a.m. That one that one I started I started that fight. wait time out pause pause did I not redeem myself by making us a fire ass bitch? You did the promo was amazing that was fire. That, that, that round of applause matter of fact where's my applause fire. yeah. <laughs> I didn't get that my one? Kool-Aid points back. Little, can you text Patricia and tell her leave me the fuck alone? <laughs> she keep calling my goddamn phone. Okay. If she's dying, then yeah. But I doubt it. Not I doubt it. I doubt Not it. right now. I don't know what fucking street we was on. We went to Party City. I don't, I'm not from here. I'm sorry. How y'all doing? No, there? actually, that's a that's a perfect little segue because we were just <laughs> talking about uh, everybody's energy today dressed in all black. The gold chains on, ready to... uh, Exactly. I don't know who finna get into a fight, but it seems like everybody want a piece. Um... I don't know, short. I'll Tell start. Shorty, I told I got that where I'm going. Yeah. yeah, I I'll start. I told I told Sarita before everybody got on. I was like, I don't know what's going on. I've been having all the disrespectful energy in the world this morning. I woke up and went to the gym, and Apple said we're gonna listen to uh, Future and Tupac. So I don't. I've had disrespectful thoughts all day. And I've been listening to nothing. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> all all the dirty down south you want you want type music all, all that all that we about to all we about to end the, the night is about to be over music Sarita that's me all week that's that's where I've been in life I don't I'm trying to be happy I don't but I just don't know she said okay Melissa what is the what are we doing? I don't right? know. People in hide and hide and seek. I don't. What are we? Right. Yeah. I mean, she's there, but well, the internet she works is. now. Her camera don't. Hey, okay. I don't know what it was. I kept seeing the time roll, but you guys were all frozen to me. But it's because that shorty is on my ass on my phone. I text her, told her you record the podcast and you can't. Get yeah, your please phone. tell her. I want to ask her as a confidant or, I mean, as an associate, period, if she don't stop texting the shit out of me like that. Oh. Oh. I'll block her. Stop it. We just got Beyonce acting right. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm sorry, cool. y'all. Hey, I did, don't don't apologize. We already told you this is everybody's energy today. I don't know why. This is the week we own. Everybody <laughs> sitting here, la- everybody, yeah. everybody sitting here laughing yeah. and joking and making death threats at the same time. So yeah, no, we Look. we good. Look. Service with a smile. <laughs> I still want my lick back from 2020 to 2022. Okay. He gonna dog slap the shit out of something or somebody. That's a long. Uh, that's break. that's that man. Two yeah, years of two, I, that's two that's years. Put three baby powder on your hand and take it way back and just. That's mm-hmm. I like this feeling right now. Like I'm ready to slap. How about that? Women, boys, kids, girls, all of them. dogs and cats. Babies. Everybody can get it. Everybody, everybody. Like I said, the, in, the, the, the spirit of disrespect is moving. Boy, and let it touch. Um, so we've got a few things to talk about. We have the two topics I sent you guys. We'll get into, but first we have to address Kiana and her uh, over and her overdosing, and the reason we didn't have a full podcast last time. We ain't going. I'm not going to blame you again, Melissa, because you were like, "She grown." I got you. She only need a supervision. We talked about this offline. I'm not even finna. Like I said, I don't. I won't. I want no smoke. See, oh, no. so do I really be dragging it? Let's make that a topic. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we need to talk about uh, what Kiana was doing because Kiana's not a not a. I don't want to say she's not a partier, but uh, her usage rate is extremely low. Yeah, she's. Let me. 
She uh, stopped Melissa drinking, go. drinking. Melissa go the king. God Cody, damn it. Melissa go. <clears throat> I'm gonna hold my comment until she Melissa get back. We, we might as well go ahead at this point because I'm gonna have to keep starting and stopping. <laughs> You're right. Because I was gonna say. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, oh, uh, oh, so close, so close, so close. So close. That's that's like sending that one thirty in the morning you up text. I, I see bubbles. Right. And, and then I thought no, <laughs> then you fall asleep before that. Right. God damn. I had a, I ain't, I ain't gonna hear him out, but I had a partner who had set up a threesome. And fell asleep. And fell asleep. Fell asleep. Oh, I was oh, I'm like I'm bitch. I'm up. I'm waiting. Had him, had him lined up. We got off of work, and we you know this is when we were at FedEx, and FedEx was three in the morning. He was like, they were with it, and they were coming through, and then actually, well, let's see you sideways. <laughs> That's what I, I keep hearing from people. Wait a minute. <laughs> well, I already, we, we knew that to begin with, but now you're physically sideways. Like, no, you now you're literally sideways. We knew you. We there knew you were before. We, we already knew you were a little askew. Right there. Don't, don't. There you go. There it is. Okay. Like All the right. seat. Here there you go. go. I mean. But. So we were talking about uh, uh um, Keanu's oh, overdosages under under Melissa's watch, but you know it is what it is. Hey, don't Serena live across the street? I don't mean to throw you under the bus, sis, but she just told me, so I know you close. I do. But she was at your house. They mean when I but was. She was, house, she was when you were. Uh, uh, yeah, she, she was, was with was you with when this happened. Had to do me. Yeah, for your yeah. birthday. That's the way she spoke. That's the way like. It was birthday weekend. It wasn't her birthday weekend. It was. Right. It was birthday weekend. It was not so your birthday weekend. Get it was It was. And slowly drift back and drift on. And, I mean, she wasn't she, dead. She, did she clinically, die? Clinically, she, did not. she wasn't did dead. Die. But you couldn't tell. if You couldn't tell she wasn't. She did not. I'm just saying a lot because like I said like I was trying to say the last time she even had a real party drink type situation we lost her I invoke you bitches I'm not <laughs> you niggas no more I'm not fucking with alcohol I'm not fucking with nothing I'm done yeah. she, she's been babysitting me because I'm going to tell you something I love yeah. you for my 40th because baby if it wasn't for you and a couple we- other people bitch yeah, we can't even we can't even we can't even revisit that conversation because the statute of limitations ain't up on what you did to Mike. So um <laughs> we gonna pr- we gonna slide we right go- past that. We gonna, <laughs> we gonna move right past but that. But at least you didn't have to see it, Marcus. I, I didn't make, know. I couldn't she didn't know because oh, I did not know. I feel like I was cleaning the kitchen, minding my business, and I was like, I didn't know. Is somebody calling my name from the parking lot? You and they was like, "Yeah, Serena calling you." And I said, "Well, what does she want? She's upset because we can't find her blanket, so she said that we need to go find you because you will find it." And may I say, you came in? I said, "Serena, where the blanket in the trunk?" I said, "You sure?" Well, no. <laughs> and then you open this nigga's trunk. And it looks like an episode of Storage Wars. Tell them why. Tell them why. Because it she normally don't look like that. She was in the process of moving and she had a bunch of her life in her trunk. Thank you. And it looked like Storage Wars. And so I'm just standing there looking at the trunk because I'm like, I don't know. And now they say they looked, but I don't know if they really looked or if it was like sending a kid to look. No, you, they glanced. Uh, and you look so home. I was like, I gotta think like Sarita. Where well, let's, would this blanket be? Let's and let's sure take enough, the down the in bigger the picture here. Corner, tucked under. And she was this blanket. blanket. Let's look at the bigger picture. The fact that she needed a blanket to go to sleep at forty. And no, I was cold. Like, it was cold. I was cold. I was just. It was like it was at the end of the night with a it, heater. I wasn't. Of course, I wasn't driving. I didn't want the heater on because I didn't want to get too hot. Like I knew my blanket would be the perfect, the perfect temperature. 
So that's why I asked her to get my blanket. Is I don't remember once my mother left and my, I said bye to my mama for the rest of the night, I don't remember. And I think it was so remember Vegas for my 22nd birthday and like I, I don't nope, remember a lot. I plead the fifth. I plead you, the fifth. I don't remember. That's shit. the same oh, thing that happened for me. I don't remember. That's I don't, beautiful. Good job. I, I had remember a, everything for I, both nope. events. I, I plead the fifth. I don't remember shit. I don't, um, all because they lost I had me a, in a one, I wasn't Vegas. Mm. Wait. We didn't lose you in Vegas. No, I'm saying I remember Vegas and her 40th fully because before that, you guys lost me in a room and I had not drinking since. That is true. So that I remember true. all the events after that. Y'all scarred her. We didn't scar her. She, she was a participant in the alcohol assumption and she yeah. drank it. No one told her. No, no, right. no, no. No? It's not quite Again, how it happened. I don't I just know I lost you. I don't remember the rest. Yep. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's it a lot of money. You Pete's have come in clutch. And Pete Snapple. And they poured it together in big 7-Eleven cups. And I kept saying, I don't want to drink that. I don't want to drink peach alcohol. What did they do? Just have some. Just have a little. This nigga went to the kitchen and got a teaspoon. And was putting it on the teaspoon and having me drink it off the teaspoon. And, and you... I about died off of three teaspoons of alcohol out of that cup that I told them I didn't want. <laughs> well, here's the thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> See, the first time, you know, you had your and stuff. So I didn't fuck with you the first time, but this was different. This that, was the first time we got to be together and fully turn up. The oh first time we met half the trip, I had been sober, sober for like eight weeks. That's when I thought you was going to die over. Well, okay. I didn't really die oh. over because the products from... um. Well, yeah, I know. I know they drugged you up there, but I'm just saying that was you coming come making a comeback after COVID. So I couldn't really... But them you. products was lightweight. Hide in, but so I got to have a lot of those and be fine. Yeah. Oh yeah. But, but yeah. So yeah, we were we were supposed to do this. Yeah. If you go back and look at the last video that me and Sarita posted, we were supposed to do this then with everybody, but and were I was high? Okay. There, <laughs> I said it. Kiana was high. And Melissa was high and missing a phone, so she wasn't here. Oh yeah. Oh oh yeah. My phone. Yeah, so literally so for the party gave me her old iPhone. My phone was cracked. I couldn't use the screen, no nothing. You getting paper cuts oh. trying to swipe up? Oh <laughs> yeah. no. So but now that we're all here and Melissa's internet is working, um and for the moment. For the moment. For, the moment. <laughs> for, for the next six seconds. Right. Right. Uh Kiana had this very weird strategy of dating that we need to talk about, but I ain't forgot about yes. that shit. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't chance. think it's weird. Well, go ahead and present it to the present it to the class, please. Go ahead. <laughs> present to the class, please. Okay, so in my mind, mm-hmm. we're already going downhill. Go ahead. Yes. I don't want the demands of a relationship. Mm-hmm. But I want the benefits of a connection. Because, like, we can go out every now and then. You need a plus one? I got you. The rodeo, it's a thing. We can chill. We can have conversation. But what I don't want is, because I don't really like people, I don't want the, you don't call me enough. You don't text me enough. You don't do this. You don't, look. I don't want to do all that. And I feel like in this day and age Mm -hmm. niggas want you to make the commitment of a relationship just so they can still do what the fuck they want it's kind of like hold on wait a minute before you go any further are you saying niggas as in males or are you talking as niggas as in plural niggas as in niggas oh okay not niggas (laughs) as in males because females is niggas too that's a fact because yep 
But there is some shit. You know, That's I why we having like this conversation the, today. I feel like the world is so full of broken people because you have those who really want to commit and be in a relationship. And then you have those who want the look of commitment and a relationship. But meanwhile, in between time, they over here acting like Derek on the life after lockup. So I feel like for me, I'm just going to go and pull the rug from under these niggas. And I'm going to do what I want to do. And you're going to do what I want to do. Or you can get on because somebody else son will do it. What Mr. Coffee won't do. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, Lord, here we will. go. <laughs> I'm on his ass. <laughs> I'm on Mr. Coffee's ass. <laughs> God damn. Not where my Mr. Coffee's at. I put money on that hoe. You are you also just threatened to put that hoe in the stroll. Right. And am. She gonna get a return on investment. Cause yeah, I broke bread on that. So you know me. So what exactly are you saying? You just like, oh, I just want to be around you, but I don't want to be with you. Is it basically what you're trying to say? Mm, I want to be around you and I want to be around him. So if you run up and you see me out with him, wave, buy us a drink, do something. Not buy us a drink. Yeah. Mm. I feel like, okay. I feel like that's a little I, risky. <laughs> <laughs> Depending no, risky. on. So, okay. Why is it risky? I feel well, like, I'm, okay. Go ahead, I Sarina. feel like I feel like, uh, but you just have to make sure that all parties are understanding because you may get that one who ain't a little, and he gonna run up with a whole different energy. Like yeah, what you're saying, drinks. right? So <laughs> just, it's cool. I feel like I feel like what you want to do the rest of your life, but not have the commitment of you're dating this one person. You literally want to date multiple people. So there's not where you don't have to make a full connection with person. That's all your time and energy into their feelings, how their day was. Like if you don't want to know how their day is, you're not finna ask. Like I don't care. Like I feel like that's how you are. And then also I feel like you kind of wish I had that clip. It's a, a comedian. She said a uh, podcast that I watch called Damn Internet You Scary. And she was like, like, niggas, we want to, sometimes we just want you to fuck on and go home. Like, I don't care how your day was. We don't give a fuck. Like, I feel like that's the stage you're in right now. Yeah, I agree. I agree. The male, the male version. What you're not careful, you'll be one of those find them, fuck them, forget them because I just need this do. That's a... And you're in something. Yeah. That's... Mm. That's tough. I'm trying to like find the right words for this because as the as the guy here, I'm like, this is a this is an interesting side. You know, it's interesting to be in that situation, but I'm like, that's not gonna work. That's just not gonna work. Because Why if not? it was if, if the shoe was on the other foot, if he was a dude that was like, Yeah, I'm going to hit you, I'm going to hit her, I'm going to hit her. And if you ever see me with her, please don't speak to her. <laughs> and it's like, oh, so now I can't talk to you in public? Nope. No, I feel like the shoe has been on the other foot for years. Mm. I feel like men. And I'm going to say men because that's what I know. Right. Um, you can, they want you to be in a relationship with them. Actually, you know what? It's giving Carmelo Anthony when he said, Lala's married and I'm not. Mm. That's what they want. They want the full commitment from you. But yet, they talking to Jenny, Becky, Susie, Terry, and Marianne on the side. They going out with these bitches. They cash happen these bitches. They hanging out with these bitches. Like it's but meanwhile in between time, they got you thinking 
you the only one and y'all good. So for me, I feel like let's go and level the playing field. You can talk to Marianne, Jackie, Tammy, Susie, and Becky. And meantime, I'm going to be over here with Ronnie, Bobby, Ralph, Ricky, Mike, and Johnny. Well, not Johnny because we ain't going to touch on that right now because I don't think I'm his type. But y'all get the point. I need, first of all, I'm going to need you to chill. I need this to make money. And I can't be, I can't afford to be canceled. I ain't got no cash. So stay tuned for part two on YouTube and Spotify. Like and subscribe.